Your fertility journey with CCRM. Understanding male factor infertility and treatment options available at CCRM. Both men and women contribute to infertility. To help identify the cause of your infertility, you and your partner will undergo a fertility workup. Through this detailed diagnostic process, we'll look at a variety of factors that could impact your ability to conceive. Since sperm health is vital to conception, it is important to have your sperm evaluated if you are struggling with infertility. Unlike women who are born with all of their eggs, men continuously produce new sperm throughout adulthood, but like women, men do have biological clocks. Studies have found that men who are age 45 and older are at risk of new genetic mutations and other abnormalities in their sperm which greatly increases the risk of genetic disorders and childhood health risks in their children. There are many increased health risks to children of men who are 45 and older. Some examples include autistic spectrum disorders, schizophrenia, and type 1 diabetes, and more. In order to maximize your chance of having a healthy baby, CCRM offers men who are younger than 45 and plan to have children in the future to freeze their sperm. CCRM is proud of our groundbreaking study on advanced paternal age and its impact on health risks to children. For the first time, CCRM scientists have been able to identify the mutations in sperm that predispose children to neurodevelopmental disorders, such as autism. Ongoing research at CCRM is investigating how understanding the mechanisms of these advanced paternal age risks will hopefully lead to future healthy offspring. Besides your age, there are a variety of factors that can impact your fertility. Following your new patient consultation with a CCRM doctor, you will complete a semen analysis, which provides information regarding your current fertility status and factors that may impact your ability to conceive. This test should be performed following two to five days of abstinence and requires masturbation. During the semen analysis, we will first determine the quantity or number of sperm in your ejaculate. When the concentration of sperm is low, the likelihood that the sperm will reach an egg in the woman's fallopian tombs is greatly reduced. In some instances, there may be a complete absence of sperm, which is known as azospermia. Next, we'll look at the sperm's motility or movement. Sperm must successfully swim through a woman's cervix, uterus, and fallopian tubes to meet up with the egg. The numbers of sperm that move and how they move are both important factors. For instance, some sperm might move, but only circles or in zigzags. Others might twitch, but not make any forward progression. This is known as poor sperm motility. Finally, we'll examine the sperm's morphology or shape. Healthy sperm have smooth, oval-shaped heads and long tails, which help to propel them as they swim. Sperm with abnormal morphology are less likely to reach or successfully fertilize an egg. Here are some of the potential male diagnoses that we may explain to you. Your doctor will review your test results and explain any diagnoses to you and your partner. Together, you will discuss your family building goals and diagnosis to decide the best treatment option for you. Potential treatment options for male fertility include treating underlying medical conditions such as diabetes, obesity, or a thyroid imbalance, which can all increase the risk of male infertility. In some instances, hormonal treatment may help to improve sperm count. If there is a varicocele, a varicose vein in the scrotum or testicle, removing it may improve sperm counts. Intrauterine insemination, or IUI, is a treatment in which the male partner produces a semen sample. The sample goes through a special washing process, and then the specially washed semen is placed directly into the female partner's uterus. In vitro fertilization, or IVF, is when sperm and egg are fertilized in the lab. Tens of thousands of swimming sperm are placed next to the egg in a petri dish. Fertilization occurs when one of the sperm enters into the cytoplasm of the egg. Then, the embryo is transferred to the woman's uterus. In conventional IVF, the sperm are put together with an egg in a petri dish. 
with ICSI, a specialized glass needle is used to inject a single sperm directly into the center of the egg under the guidance of a specially fitted microscope. The success rate with this technique varies considerably among IVF programs and is highly dependent upon the skill of the embryologist performing the procedure. In cases of extremely low sperm count, zero sperm count, or no ejaculate, testicular sperm extraction is an option. This is when mature or immature sperm cells are extracted via a needle from the testicles. IVF with ICSI is required if this procedure is done. In some situations, it may be recommended to consider using a sperm donor. As you start your fertility journey, we recommend that you prepare your body for treatment in the following ways. Eat a healthy, well-balanced diet, maintain a healthy weight, stop smoking, recreational drugs, and minimize or eliminate alcohol, and avoid travel to any countries or regions that may put you at risk or exposure to Zika or other significant infectious diseases. Reduce or eliminate your caffeine intake, and decrease your stress and optimize your sleep. We understand that fertility treatment can be a stressful process, so don't be afraid to ask for help. If you have any questions about male fertility treatment options or would like to start your journey with CCRM, visit ccrmivf.com.